Hi everyone, welcome to Boost Product Filter and Search Tutorial video series. In this video, we're going to show you the meaning of analytics and how you can utilize its power. Overall, analytics gives you data-driven insights about your customers' shopping behaviors, through important site search analytics, and reports for collection filter activities. You can then turn these metrics into actions, to optimize your business performance by, getting business insights, improving relevance, improving catalog, and improving UX and navigation. From the data of filters and searches, you'll know the desires of your customers. More importantly, you'll find out which product trends will possibly be the best sellers in the future. Use analytics data and optimize current filtering and search settings to improve your conversion rate. So this is the analytics dashboard, which include two main parts. The first board gives you a quick overview of some key metrics that our app collects in 14 days. They are, total sales in the last 14 days, total filter clicks in the last 14 days, and total searches in the last 14 day. Note that the app only starts collecting data since the date you installed it. So for first users, you need to wait at least 14 days for the app to render the data. The second part shows you more insightful data that will help you better understand your customer's filter and search related activities. Let's get into the details. First, Collection Analytics provides information and metrics of how your customers use the filters to browse products, on all collections or on a particular one. You could choose a specific collection here, in this drop-down menu. Right next to it, choose a date range. Depending on your subscription plan, you can choose the maximum range up to 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or even one year. Remember to check this box if you want to compare the selected date range with the previous one. Now, let's head over the details and see what you can learn from your filters. There are four metrics you can exploit. Start with total sales generated by app. This metric allows you to see how much you've earned from our app, using both filter and search events. Click view details to see the top 5 collections that bring you the most profit. Up next, total filter clicks reflect the number of clicks on your filter trees. You will know exactly which collection has the most number of customers use filters. This may reveal what product collection customers are paying attention to and what they're looking for. Choose view details will help you see more collections in the list. Top filter option value combinations. This is a list of the combination of all option values most selected by your customers. For example, a combination of size X and color blue or color black with vendor Chanel. This metric will let you know which combinations of product attributes are most looked for. From these data, you get to know more of your customer's navigation behavior, how they use filters to narrow down to the products they want. What are the hot combos you can utilize to come up with new ideas about product or promotion campaigns? Tip for you. View details to get an overview of the top 20 combinations and see the trends of product browsing on each collection page. Ultimately, you can rearrange filter options or create more relevant filter values for customers to browse more easily based on their behaviors. The final data in collections analytics is top filter option values. This is a list of the top option values selected by your customers, like size X, color black, etc. This metric goes into detail about what exact filter your customer is using to narrow down when browsing collections. Using this report, you can have a deeper look into the demand of customers for specific product attributes. Next, by looking at search analytics, you'll get more actionable insights into what customers are looking for and how they react to the search results. The first one total sales generated by app shares the same metrics with collection analytics, as it shows the total amount of revenue using both filter and search events. So basically, in terms of search, there are five key metrics that you should keep your eye on. Total searches reflects how many times your customers use the search box to look for products. Having this data, you'll be able to monitor and customize other search features using search settings, thus enhancing the user shopping experience. Top search terms will help you answer the questions what are customers' top search queries? This report shows a list of the keywords most entered by your customers. Through it, you will understand their demands and can offer them exactly what they need. Top search terms with no result shows you a list of search terms most entered by your customers, but returns no results. This is an important metric to help you recognize what you are missing out on your online store, and even reflect the search terms, or content you're using on site is not friendly to customers, so they might have difficulty searching for it. Therefore, to fill this void, come up with ideas to improve your product inventory, or online merchandising strategy to promote other products. Tip, you can use Synonym feature to create a list of product suggestions. Total filter clicks on search page, reflects the number of clicks on the filter trees of the search result. 
This data will reveal one important insight. It is whether your products are drawing the attention of customers or not. The final metric top filter option value on search page offers you a list of the option values most used by your customers. It reveals up to 20 popular filters on search result pages, helping you recognize what product attributes your customers are paying attention to. From that data, you can come up with ideas to better optimize your on-site search and to ultimately convert browsers into buyers. A big note for you. By default, our analytics report includes the total sales generated by app metric. This to help you keep track how much you've earned with our app. However, if you don't want to see this, you can simply disable it with the analytics settings. Turn off enable order revenue tracking, and then save settings. Please bear in mind that, the view orders permission you agree to provide is read-only, so we don't store any of your information. Last but not least, for a more precise metric rendering, you can exclude filter and search activities from certain IP addresses. These addresses can be from your own devices, or belongs to your team members, so it's best to exclude them from the report. To use this feature, simply enter the IP address, add one by one. And of course, don't forget to save them. This is the end of the tutorial. Reach us at support at boostcommerce.net if you need any further assistance. <laughs>